Hello people, and we have a topic today, which is what the hell is going on with Nintendo right now. It's literally been 333 days since the last Nintendo Direct, as of filming, right now, if you don't count the part of the showcase, which is only 13, but like, that's not what we want. In a direct, or at least not what I want in a direct. Um, and I was actually, I was actually, honestly, not that bothered by the direct, and I think it was fine. And in general, it worked, especially because we got a mention of Zelda, even if it was a partner showcase. So, you know, could be worse. I went in expecting nothing and came out with something even if I don't own the game. So now, I just, I'm sitting here. I mean, the entire Nintendo community is just sitting here with nothing, no events, no games, or anything to just gather around and be excited about, which is what we really need right now. Like, we got Pokemon, Pokemon, like, Go photo or something. Pokemon Snap. Which, it's damaging for the community. And a lot of events, it's just, they're not happening because of quarantine. So we need something from Nintendo to keep the fan base going. Because there's no gaming festivals or anything for people to just rally around. Especially just this year. Because there usually is. So, with no games or events coming, even Nintendo New York is closed. So, say what you will, but it's probably damn well, it is. It's damaging the community, it's not beneficial for people. And the biggest issue is there is no information, there just isn't. We don't know what Nintendo's doing. We have no more full first party games developed by Nintendo in house coming 2020. That's it. Paper Mario was it. We don't know what our holiday title is. We just don't know. And I think Nintendo needs to do something about it because it's their community. We're rallying around this company. Because they bring so much joy and excitement into our lives. Which, it's amazing, you know? But, right now, they're not doing amazingly. But, I'm not just blindly yelling at the moment. Because I have some ideas. First thing I'd do, is I'd put some big games into development that will get fans excited. Stuff like Kid Icarus Uprising 2, Super Mario Odyssey 2. Could you imagine a sequel to that on Switch? It'd be amazing. More kingdoms. It's fucking great. And I would then make a Nintendo Direct, even if it was only 10 or 15 minutes going over things and explaining all sorts of just what is coming out in the year and what for people to expect, telling us what that big holiday title is for us to get excited over. Because we don't know. I don't even know if there is one. No one does. Except maybe the people at Nintendo. Maybe it's Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, which I hope. Honest to God, I hope it is. But I don't know. <laughs> and that's what winds me up right now, because we don't know. We have no flipping clue what's going on. And we are back. So, from my previous point of making a direct, it needs to be completely just first party. Like, no third party. Just, if anything, we can have the Nintendo, we can have the Nintendo Partner Showcase like we did afterwards. 
for the third party stuff. But we just need a first party, what Nintendo is doing right now, direct. All the games that are currently in development, we know about, that we don't know about. Information on Metroid Prime, Bayonetta, Pokemon, all of these things. Even if Pokemon is kind of first party, I don't know. And then, at the end, something for right after the direct launches. N64 games on Nintendo Switch Online, on our Switches, to be downloaded right as the direct ends. N64, like starting with Mario 64, Ocarina of Time, some of the Fire Emblem games, because God, the earlier Fire Emblem games, I don't think many of them even left Japan. I want to play them. And a Nintendo Switch Online app gets an upgrade and allows us to film, not to film, what am I going on about? To listen to all of Nintendo's music category of games. Everything from the Legend of Zelda main theme to the overworld theme of Earthbound. You know? And maybe like a subsection for like sound effects. So we don't just get sound effects, it's like we hit shuffle on it. And the ability to download it. Like, even if they have to, like, put up the price of Switch online, or have, like, a premium tier, which, like, gives you the, gives you the music, and then a standard tier, which is just what we have now. I pay for premium tier, because some of that Nintendo music, like, you know, like, it's really iconic, and it's amazing music. And I want to listen to it. And after they closed all those music channels down that had a lot of the Nintendo music, it's harder to get hold of like the very niche songs. So if Nintendo is throwing all that onto an app that already exists and already pretty much does have the ability to do media, then that would be awesome. And I would pay good money for that. Nintendo, take my idea, okay? Take it, make it a reality, and then, like, you don't even have to pay me, just do it. And then I will give you money to use it. You want our money, Nintendo? Make, give us something that we want to give you the money, okay? Or even N64 Classic. Boom. Without further ado, Video's over. Like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And I will see you in the next one.